Hello Pisces, I have an intuitive reading for you for this point on your journey. We're going to be looking at what's going on as well as the message that your soul is attempting to communicate with you, the reason why this is happening the way it is. So we'll also be doing an extended version where I will draw more cards and get more information for you. The link is going to be in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right, Father of Arrows, Father of Swords, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands. A lot of interesting, conflicting energy here. The need to stand your ground, but let's get, let's get, oh, well, <laughs> out of my mouth it popped. Okay, the need to stand your ground for sure. So the cards representing you right now. Strength card with the Hermit card, card eight and nine. So really interesting that we're going in order there. You are being really challenged, Pisces, to stand up for yourself and to trust your own inner wisdom, to really look at how you are feeling about a particular situation and not to give in to what someone else thinks or someone else thinks you should be doing. You know, I will say that it seems like your energy seems pretty good with this. You know, you're holding strong, you're not wavering, but there are a lot of tests coming at you. So Pisces, it's really important that you hold on. The four of wands fell out as I was getting these two, which says to me that the universe is telling us you've got a few more tests. You've got a few more trials to see how strong you are going to be. So we've got Father of Arrows, we've got Two of Arrows, so these are swords, uh, King of Swords, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and Seven of Wands. So what it seems to me is that you've got a critic on your, <laughs> not on your team, a critic against you, uh, whether it's someone outside of you or your own critical voice saying to you, you know what, this isn't really a good idea, this isn't possible, have you thought it all the way through? They're coming up with all of these negative reasons why you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. And a lot of this negativity, it would be very easy to take personally because it does seem like it's personal attacks. This person really isn't open to dialogue about why you choose certain things or why you're doing a certain way but they do believe that they have the answer, that they are the one who is right. So what's interesting is that you're coming in with this two of swords card, which is an interesting way to handle it. You're not saying, okay, no, you're wrong. You're not saying, um, no, you're right. You're just kind of at this spot of not fighting with this other person. So you're allowing them to have their opinion, but you're also not stepping away from it. You're still bound to it. You see how these guys are tied together? There's something about your relationship where you're not allowed to just kind of cut, cut yourself off from this and say, you know what, it doesn't matter. This is why I'm thinking for some of you, this is also the inner voice talking, that inner critical voice, like what, what are you doing? You have no right doing this. All of, all of everything you're trying to do, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the start of something new. And what I believe these two cards are asking you to do is to, is to cut yourself off from this energy here. Not just kind of appease it and say, yeah, yeah, I hear you, but to actually make a stand and say, nope, nope, this isn't, no, nope, that's not the way I'm going to do it. Seven of Wands in, says that you need to involve yourself in a conflict for the sake of building strength. And if you look at this, this is card number seven, eight, and nine, okay? So all these sequences in a row. You may feel like you, you don't win the battle. They may have come up with better arguments than you, but the thing is, is that you need to take a stand here. Because just holding this appeasing energy at bay isn't going to do it for you. It's, it's taking away energy from your new start your Ace of Pentacles, what you could be using to build something different. We get a little bit more about this Father of Arrows card. Okay, who is this person? Tell me a bit more, please. Okay. 
the world. Five of Cups and the Moon. Huh, okay, interesting. This type of energy that this guy has strikes me as being quite narcissistic. Someone who wouldn't be unadverse to gaslighting, to telling you, no, what are you saying? That's not true reality. You're delusional. Someone who negates your own view of the truth. Okay, and Pisces, this is really important because in starting your new beginning, it's really important that you honor your own footsteps, that you honor your own truth in this matter. Okay, the, this father of arrows creates a world that's very shadowy emotionally, that is not safe emotionally. And it may be necessary for you to kind of keep them at bay for your own survival, but that is not a long-term solution for you. Okay. So, okay, <laughs> I'm struggling with myself here because I really don't like to go to these places, especially when it's um, a reading for so many people, but I'm just going to have to put this information out. The growth of your own path and the growth of your own life is going to be very hard if you try, if you continue to do it with this emotional gaslighting. And so I feel like this is a time to really either create some boundaries or create some distance and say to this person, you know, that's not my reality, that you can believe whatever you want, but that's not my reality. And if you can't honor it and you can't honor my beliefs, we have to part ways. There's something about just settling for getting along that is not going to be satisfying. Interesting. We've got two creatures fighting here. We've got two animals trying to find each other here. And then we've got two ramming into each other. Okay. So it's as if you're never going to be on the same page with this person. They've got a limited outlook because of their own life experiences and their own wounds. But you're never going to be on the same page. In fact, to protect your new beginning, it's really important that you are not connected with them. Okay, you see how this? They're doing their own thing. And they're both trying to get at this one thing, but they're doing their own thing. So um, this, is, this is a big week. This is a big moment for you, Pisces, in standing up for yourself, defending your position, and not just doing it in the dark not just keeping it hidden in the shadows, the hermit. Okay, let's get your soul message, what your soul is teaching you through this experience. Okay. Short and sweet. Three cards. Five of pentacles, three of wands, and the magician. There is a better world <clears throat> for you out there, Pisces. There is a better situation. This is about taking the long view and not just getting along for now. Okay. This is about really looking out into your future and creating the future you want. It's no good. Um, hmm. There's two ways to approach this future. One is to keep going forward, looking for more and more sustenance. Or the other way is simply just to cut yourself into a new direction and say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to manifest this a completely different way. Um, I don't need to stay in this situation anymore. But both options are going to lead you to that future where you see everything a bit, not just more clearly, but you see a future that is actually sustainable and beneficial for you. I want to pull more information on this through the extended, but to leave you if if um we could just get a little more information from the animals. Okay. Deer and gorilla. Peacefully standing in your power, peacefully standing up to bullies. I love this. The deer card talks exactly about this, standing up to bullies. 
You don't have to do it in a in a, an explosive, kind of dramatic way, but you do need to stand up for yourself. Okay, I'm going to continue to pull cards on what your future is going to look like through these two options, give you as much information as we can. This is a really important reading for you, Pisces. I'll see you over there. The link's in the description below.